Hi, lovely people. Okay, we are going to make the most delicious lasagna al forno, right? A classic. People love lasagna, and I want to give you a really solid recipe that will take care of you, your family, your friends, and give you deliciousness every single time. We're going to do a lasagna al forno with a meat ragu, okay? Let's start with the meat, and let's start with the smoked pancetta. So just finely slice the bacon. So in the pan we go. Everyone knows that good things happen when you smell a nice bit of smoky bacon. Then what I would suggest is putting in your bay leaves in with the garlic. So as that's frying off, I'm just gonna take the leaves off the rosemary like that. This act of making a ragu, I love the ritual of it. So now we go in with the carrots, the celery, and the lovely red onions. Okay, so the veggies have had about five minutes, and if you just push the veggies to one side, let's introduce the meat. So in with the pork first. Normally my favorite cut is minced shoulder of pork, and then beef. Then we break up the meat, let the water and moisture cook away, and then we'll get color on that minced meat. So there you go, lovely people. We've had a nice 10 minutes of frying, a nice little seasoning of salt. I'm gonna be quite generous with pepper, and then a lovely old school spice, nutmeg. So you want to grate in about half a nutmeg. So at this stage in the game, we're going to go in with two glasses of red wine, small glasses. So we go in with the lentils. You will never tell the difference between the lentil and the meat, right? It becomes like one. So the lentils have gone in, then some nice, big, fat, plum tomatoes. Fill up your tins with water and pour this in like that. Right, we're gonna let that sit for about an hour and a half. So look, the ragu has been blipping away beautifully for about an hour and a half, and it's gonna carry on cooking for a little bit. I'm gonna make a white sauce. I'm gonna put 50 grams of butter in a pan. I wanna take it up a little bit. So I've got a lovely leek here. The flavor that you get from leeks is so beautiful. So in the sizzling butter. Now I'm gonna go in with four medium heat tablespoons of flour, stir that in, and then in with a litre of milk. So that'll come to the boil, and then I'm simply gonna blend it until it's smooth. I'm gonna angle the pan like this, get it deep in there. The great thing about that is it will amplify the flavour as well as give you that lovely silky consistency. So look, in here, we're gonna get cheese happening. So. So of course cheddar cheese is not traditional in an Italian sense. I actually tend to use cheddar when I make my lasagnas regardless, just because I like it. So a bit of Parmesan goes in now. And then the curveball, the smoked mozzarella. You can get it in the supermarkets. Have a look for it, it's there. Don't overuse it, you know, be subtle with it. Look at that guys, come on. Oh, 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 oh come on. So look how gorgeous, gooey and stringy that white sauce is. It's gonna be amazing. So now is the time to build our lasagna. So at this point in time, what I do do is just look at my ragu, and because it's been cooking down, and because everyone's pans are a little bit different, you might just wanna add a little bit of water so it's kind of not too dry, okay? So first up, we'll take two nice ladles of our ragu into here, take our little bits of pasta. I prefer to use the fresh ones. Then we go in with a little bit of the white sauce, and keep repeating until you run out of ingredients. So look, this is the last bit of white sauce, and then we'll finish it with a last little kiss of cheese. And that, my friends, is gonna be an amazing lasagna. So in the oven, it's gonna go for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and that will be a fine dinner for a bunch of fine people. So let's cook it. So good. <laughs> Come on. Come and have a look at this. So there you go. It's just cooked in to the most beautiful thing. Normally I would let this sit for five, 10 minutes just to let the pasta sort of relax. And then you get a nicer little slice, but I can't be, well, I can't be bothered to wait. I'm too excited. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Oh. 
this proper lasagna. So we can sit here romanticizing and talking all day or we can get some knives and forks and get stuck in. I like the ratio between the pasta and the ragu. It's hot, but it's so good. Mm. The white sauce, oozy, stringy, but full of flavor. More flavor than a normal white sauce. Give it a go. So guys, what are you waiting for? Get the recipe, get shopping, get cooking, and enjoy a humble, delicious, comforting lasagna. Go for it, get stuck in.